I don't think I would still be in the halibut industry if it wasn't for this IFQ program um, because our small boat and our family crew was simply getting overpowered by bigger boats, uh, more gear, and, uh, and I, we, we just couldn't, uh, we couldn't compete. I have to use the word compete because that's what it was. It was competition for fish. Ultimately, the people with the most and the biggest won. It gets to the point where it's not feasible. Vessel size classes are in place to make sure we always have a small boat fleet, knowing that the small boat fleet is largely going to be community based and sell in the coastal communities. Sitka has flourished under this program, um, as have some of the other communities like Sitka. Our big fear with what we saw had happened in New Zealand was the consolidation of ownership and the elimination of a small boat fleet, um, the impact of that on coastal communities that depended on having active fleets and a lot of people earning a living employed in the fisheries. Um, that Canada had started that way at, with a combination of licenses and IFQs is a way to really minimize consolidation. Um, since then they've really liberalized their program and they've allowed a huge amount of consolidation and lost a big percentage of their fleet. The impacts are huge on communities that lose, lose that access and we are trying to prevent that from happening here. Mm -hmm.